Well, that's the way to place the football right there. And you threw it where he where he, where he was, right? Nice shot. It said what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But what happened recently in the Nevada desert will be spreading across the nation like wildfire. More than 300 of the best high school sophomores, juniors, and seniors taking part in the first ever Polynesian Football Showcase. 28 states, 375 players, 40 from Hawaii, uh, some of the best players in the country. On, under the uh, auspices are the umbrella of the Polynesian Hall of Fame, the Polynesian Bowl, the Polynesian Showcase, the Polynesian Classic, the brand of football in Polynesia. Put another way, these are the best of the best who pay their own way to be coached up and matched up against the type of competition and players they're going to be going head to head with on the next level. The Jim Zorn's here, you know, what, what, what are the chances these kids get to talk to uh, NFL former head coach and then uh, my, myself? That's what it is, it's all about, it's giving them opportunities uh, to use this game for free education and let, not let the game use you. The, the value of coming to some of these camps and uh, getting their, their kids seen, you know, back in our days there weren't many, there weren't many camps. Um, a, lot, a lot of guys weren't able to travel and you know go away, but you know, these parents are starting to buy in, and uh, you know you, you spend a little money, but uh, the kids overall become uh, better players, and uh, the opportunities for colleges are out there. Micah Soliai Howlett is part of the Kamehameha Schools Class of 2020. While he says he's still talking to schools, he doesn't have any firm offer yet. The combines like this can be a game changer. It's amazing because in Hawaii we don't see the type of talent over here. And that type of size over here is like, like, you can't put a price on that type, type of things we're learning here either. All the technique, all these coaches have to teach us, and I'm just grateful for the opportunity to come here. For the most part, all these kids are already in the crosshairs of some of the top college recruiters in the country. Performing well at combines like this could only raise their stock. I didn't have this opportunity, and also it's, it's pretty sacrificial if you think about it by the parents to be able to uh, bring their kids to a camp like this. And it's a real advantage for, I think, all the positions that are here, because they're being uh, coached in, uh, with detail and uh, aggressiveness. I mean, they're, we're paying attention to, to details. It's amazing what parents will do to get kids exposure. And this is what this is all about, 24-7, getting three-star rating, four-star rating, five-star, getting an invite to the Polynesian Bowl, which is one of the most prestigious bowl games in America. From linemen to receivers to quarterbacks and slot backs, there are NFL coaches and Super Bowl champions overseeing everything and grading every one. There it is. All right, very good, very good. Also working with QBs, Hawaii quarterback guru Vince Cassis, the man who helped to develop and mold Marcus Mariota and Tua Tango Bailoa, among many, many others. The uh, experience for them uh, is amazing. You know, they get to be around, um, you know, uh, high caliber players. Uh, the uh, coaches that are here are really uh, um, have an impressive uh, resume. You know, Jim Zorn, uh, you know, Will Hewitt, you know, from quarterback collectors. Uh, so for quarterbacks to be in involved with um, all these uh, uh, um, quarterback uh, coaches uh, is amazing. And one of those quarterbacks in attendance just happens to be the next in the long line of highly touted quarterbacks at St. Louis School, Jaden Delora. It's like hard to not think about it. It's a blessing like, to work with different coaches and learning different things. Like you can only learn so much from one coach and with all these other coaches, it's an opportunity to learn new stuff. And knowing he's next in the line of those top ranked quarterbacks to come from St. Louis is obviously something that he just can't overlook. Don't pop up. There you go. And while this combine is aimed at developing better football players, it's also about developing better people off the playing field. There's life lessons taught by guys that have been at the highest level that are successful in life. So these are role models for all of Polynesia. When you think five, ten years ago, there was none of this. So this brand of Polynesian football, the exposure, the opportunity in the last five years has grown exponentially and it's grown throughout the country. It's not just a Hawaii thing. It's not just a Polynesian Samoan thing. It's throughout the continent and it's, it's huge. It's about giving them opportunities, giving back for my part of it. You know, when I grew up in Kalihi, there were coaches from all over that came and, and held me by the hand and said, it doesn't matter what people say, you can grow up in Kali and do something um, for yourself and, and that's what we're trying to get back to the kids. One, two, three.